I'm Mitch Asher, Motion Control Product Specialist with Warner Electric Supply. Today I'd like to demonstrate how to integrate a three-phase Linmont linear motor with a Kinetics 5700 servo drive. The process to integrate the motor is very simple as motor files are now native to Studio 5000 as of version 30 and newer. You no longer have to download the motor files, eliminating that time-consuming step. Let's see how simple it is to configure the Logic software to integrate the motor. So with my project open, I've already added the Kinetics 5700 power supply and the axis. I've also added the motion group and then included the power supply axis in the motion group. So now that we've done that, we can begin to add the Linmont axis to the project. So to do that, right click on motion group, click on new axis, click on axis SIP drive, and I'm going to name this axis Linmont axis. Then click create. Now that we've created the axis, we need to associate that axis with the correct drive. So scroll down on the controller organizer and on the bottom we'll see our Kinetics 5700 drive. Double click on that and that will open up the drive's property window. On the left hand side where it says motion, scroll down to associated axis and click on that. Under axes 1, drill down where it says none and select the Linmont axis we just created. Click apply and then click OK. Now that we've associated our axis, we need to add the Linmont motor to the Linmont axis. So go back to motion group in the controller organizer and click on the Linmont axis. This will again bring up the properties for the Linmont axis. Under categories, in motor, click on motor and under data source, where it says nameplate data sheet, drill down and select catalog number. Then click on change catalog number button and begin to start typing in your part number. So for this case, it's gonna be P10-70. And right away, we can see that that part number isn't showing up in the program. That means we might have missed a step during setup. So we'll go ahead and click cancel. Click cancel again. And then we're gonna go back to the Kinetics 5700 axes. So double click on that to bring the properties up again. On the left hand side, go to motion and then click on associated axes. And under axes one where we add the Linmont axes, we see motor feedback device. By default, DSL feedback one port is selected. We need to drill down and select universal feedback port, which is what the Linmont motor is using. As you can see, this is a really important step. Otherwise, the motor actually won't even show up in the program. So now that we've done this, we can click apply and then click OK. And then we're going to go back to our Linmont axes. Go back to motor, drill down again to nameplate data sheet and select catalog number. Select change catalog number and then we can type in our part number again. So P10 70X 240 underscore. 1010 underscore C underscore D02. So it recognizes this part number. So now that we found our part number, click OK. And it will think for a little bit and then all the motor parameters will show up. So click Apply. Click OK. So you've successfully set up the Linmont axes, but for this demo, we're going to set up the scaling. So go back into the properties, select scaling. I'm going to use inches for this demo. So the scaling is one inch per motor millimeter. So we're going to do one inch per 25.4 motor millimeters. Click apply, click yes to the pop-up window and click OK. And now everything is set up so we can save our project. Now that you've configured the software, you should be able to utilize your linear axis. I've created an eject routine, which will simulate product on a conveyor Maybe a bad product goes by a photo eye and the Linmot will eject that bad product off the line. So looking at my rungs of code, we can see that the Linmot axes uses traditional Rockwell motion axes commands, such as the MSO and the MSF and the MAH that I have presented here. This is different than in the past. We no longer have to, to look for these Linmot add-on instructions and import them into our project. So looking at my code, I've created 
a state machine that will look for a bad product when I click the eject routine. It will go through the ladder logic and it will eject the bad product off the line. So once we've had a look at my, pro my program, I'm gonna scroll back up. I'm gonna enable the access. I'm gonna home the access. And then I'm gonna hit the eject bit, which will simulate a product being ejected off the conveyor. Some applications of the Linmont three-phase motor is replacing pneumatics, point-to-point -point applications, pick-and-place applications, and various other applications. A benefit is that the three-phase 480-volt Linmont linear motors are high-performing and can supply forces up to 2,700 newtons. And finally, the motors are available in standard configuration with IP65 rating or stainless steel configuration with IP69K waterproof dust resistant rating. If you are an industrial OEM, MRO, or end user and are looking for ways to make your machines work faster and more efficient, contact your Warner Electric account rep to learn more.